This will decide the winner. So, if you mix goose yellow and cyan, what do you get? Eh, wrong. It's flame algae green. I win. You can't just change rules without saying anything. <sighs> Fine, I won't move. After analyzing over 20 underwater artifacts that were brought back from scientific expedition, the results conclude that Lemurian's eyes were highly evolved. They can tell the difference between 300 million colors. Truly, the pursuit of romance and spirituality is in their nature. Sure, but like, even with the ability to see a lot of colors, I still can't beat you. Some people are just so hard to bully. <sighs> Please, it's the lightest shade of green coming from algae when an anglerfish swims past it. Also, I was the one who named it. Simple, yeah? If I were to name 300 million colors, I'd get really tired. Only the colors I like get names. You read. Have you ever seen a glowing birthmark? It's a mark unique to Lemurians. Anyway, aren't you getting a little bit too comfortable ordering me around? Excuse you. Names matter. You can't just, like, throw them around, you know. Take that back, you monster. N-O. No. Nuh-uh. Nope.
This red light is taking forever. Can't believe we need to wait here for 150 seconds. I just forgot to take it out of my pocket. Does this not count? Okay, I'll leave a mark on you first. So if we get separated later, it'll be easy to identify at the lost and found. Is this... a pot with steam coming out of it or something? Or are you saying you want to have hot pot for lunch? It's round and has two handles. What else could it be if not a pot? There are several greenhouses in the back. The owner built it in collaboration with a charity specifically for the breeding of endangered plants and insects. Over the years, they've worked together with many famous public figures. Since then, the attention and donations they've received have increased. Also, the current state of many species has improved in terms of overall survival. Good afternoon. Sir, can you tell me what this pattern is? Um, your invitation has been verified. Both of you, please come in. Tell us the answer, or else he's going to lose sleep tonight wondering what it is. Just saying. So it really is a pot? Yep. They actually went extinct 20 years ago. The technology of that time couldn't preserve it. We could only watch it fade away from this world. Later on, a biologist came up with a solution. Using previously recorded data, they were able to reconstruct it. 
I don't know the details, though. They tried really, really hard to explain it, but it was all science mumbo-jumbo. I did understand the most important part. Even though they reconstructed it, there are small differences between this species and the one that went extinct. So it's a unique existence in this world, a species that never existed before, you know? Come here. Don't disturb them. Amazing, right? A painter's brush and a photographer's camera can't reproduce the awe these colors bring to people. And that's why this world is wonderful. It won't be just flowers. There will be a day when all life goes extinct. What will you do in the last moments of your life? Is the third question really that hard to answer? Let's keep walking. I'm more than just interested. I have the honor of being one of the sponsors for their research. So, as a token of gratitude, they're letting me name this species of flower. Sadly, I don't know anything when it comes to names. And recently, you've been the one to name my paintings. Why don't I just leave this mission to you? Take your time. They're not in a hurry so long as a name is submitted within six months. Doesn't this also count as giving flowers? I'm pretty sure I'm sincere enough this time. I said, I said, you should really think about the name for that flower. Since once it has a name, it will belong to you.
All forms of life have the same beginning, but their names make them special. You see, a name is the most effective spell in the world. When you call someone's name, in that moment, an invisible bond is formed. You should try it yourself, you know. Yeah, something has changed. <laughs> nope, not here. Not here. Do you know what this means? I'm allowing myself to be trapped. And to answer your question, In the last moments of my life, I'd immediately seek you out to find all the answers I need.
A Lemurian bond shouldn't be taken lightly. Get what? <sighs> you didn't understand anything. You're just a silly girl with a bad memory. I told you that's not how it works. Get on. Nice joke. How could I possibly be a... Meow! What? Who knows? When these butterflies pass by the flowers, they won't remember their names either. You asked a lot of questions today. It's like you opened Deep Philosophical Musings Volume 1. But while your question got an answer, mine hasn't. What is this thing? I'm asking because I can't figure it out. 